A lot of researchers have referred to eastern white pine as the tree that built America. It's an amazing tree, and it's also important heritage to the state of Maine. It was often used in boat building. It was used to build houses. And so it's really this staple tree that's important both historically and economically. The value of the trees that are currently standing that could be used by the mills is probably around $2 billion. We're peeling away the bark to look at the damage. Our project was specifically looking at how a native fungal pathogen, Calisiopsis pinea, is affecting eastern white pine trees in northeastern North America. We are seeing dead tissue there, so an indication of the canker. So if you look at the bark of a tree, they would see a lot of white streaks coming down the bark. And then the forest products industry was reporting cankers or damage inside the wood that would cause a downgrade and to lose value. This we would classify as Colossiopsis. When it can get past the bark or cambial tissue, then it can infect the tree and cause this necrotic tissue and basically kills the tree where it enters. Shave off on the other side so we can see how wide that canker is. Trees can get damages, they can get sick. This is their way of dealing with that. So if you get a cut on your body, you're going to get a scab and it's going to repair itself. Well, trees don't heal like we do, they seal over wounds. With this study, we're hoping to figure out exactly what's causing the increase in Calisiopsis damage that we're seeing. Some suggestions have been that it's related to climate change, precipitation increases in the spring, as well as temperature changes, and then also land use changes. White pine regenerates on old fields or abandoned farms, but it's not adapted to those sites, and that may play into the increase we've seen in Calisiopsis. So only about 7.5 to 13% of the trees we sampled had a lost value because of the fungus. Um, but economically, if you're looking at 10 million board feet of lumber processed, that can be thousands of dollars. And so it does add up quickly. Stressed trees or trees growing in poorer conditions are those that tend to be most affected. And so by thinning and having proactive management, the symptoms and the value lost due to this fungus can be reduced. Putting all this together will help the landowners who grow the trees, increasing the value of them, and then selling so they get more money when they sell them to the mill, and when the mill gets them, they'll have better quality wood that they can make their products from and increase their yield. We're hoping that in the next year, we can get out a few scientific publications from our research and also put together a white pine management guideline booklet that we can distribute to land managers so they have something in hand that's concrete that they can use to manage their forests. What's happening to the white pine is not unique to Maine. There's now a multi-state working group coming together so we can understand what's happening to white pine throughout its range, which will help us understand better, put it in perspective as to what's happening here in, in the state of Maine.